Happy Dudes and Curls, welcome back for another video. It's Melissa Q, thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come in and chit chat with your girl. And today's video is about the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. Now I've been trying this for a couple of days. You know, I always like to come at least three days. Now I've been doing like the three day test. So you're going to see me demo it and give my thoughts on the first day of my initial so i'm going to go ahead and cut to that and then we'll be back we are going to apply one side with the beauty blender and the other side with a brush two pumps on this side and we'll see how that works Oh, I like the cover jump with the brush. Oh, that is so beautiful on with this brush. Do y'all see that? I don't even know if I want to use the beauty blender. Oh, a nice luminosity. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with that spout. I'm using my opposite hand. I don't know why I'm doing that. Probably because I'm holding the mirror in my left hand. Okay, I like the coverage. Most of the time I like the coverage of the sponge, but I actually like the coverage of the brush better. Y'all see the coverage on that versus over here? Let's finish. And I don't think I got a good pump out of this. There you go. Let's. Like that is so beautiful. Okay, so what I think about this, of course, it claims to be lightweight, full coverage makeup, and it hydrates, including SPF 20. I love the fact that it actually has an expiration on the back and it is oil free. Now, at first I was trying this and I was like, "Ooh, I love it. As you can tell in the initial impression that I had, but the other thing that I noticed, I was like, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of the CoverGirl Queen collection, the three in one, which is, is like a concealer, a primer, and I believe a, it's a concealer, primer, and foundation all in one. I believe those are the three in one, but this gives full coverage just like this. Now, this reminds me exactly of that. Both of them are oil free. This one is full coverage, just like the Queen collection, three in one. So these are my thoughts about this. If you are dry, this one hydrates. So I would definitely, this is a full coverage for someone who is dry. I don't know if this gives a beautiful finish. I have seen a couple of people talk about who are oily that love this foundation. However, if you want a more matte finish or a satin to matte finish, I highly recommend you go over to the Queen Collection. They have a high selection, especially if you are medium to deep tone. The CoverGirl Queen Collection is it's basically specialized for women of color, which I can really appreciate CoverGirl for that, especially with women of color. A lot of times they stop at my shade in most foundations of a brand and they just stop there. A lot of foundations stop at my skin tone and they don't go any further or they'll maybe go two shades down, but which we know chocolate is in different shades. There are different flavors of chocolate. Okay, so that's why you hear it a lot of time in the makeup industry about women of color not being represented properly, especially with different brands. There are brands out there that do that, but in the drugstore, it's very limited. So I can really appreciate CoverGirl at least having another line that is specialized for women of color. Now, the only thing about that is that a lot of times it is hard to get a hold of. And when we find it, it's gone because 
every woman of color is going to that brand and snatching them off the shelves. And sometimes we're getting backups because we don't know if it's going to be back or not. Just the truth about that. But I highly recommend this for if you are dry, this is a foundation for you. I love the coverage I'm using. I'm wearing it today and it's set with the powder. I love the fact that this is also buildable. And about three pumps, I got a strong medium coverage. I would consider this medium coverage just because I had like a pimple here, which means <laughs> unflow is coming. And I could see it a little bit, but with a little bit of concealer, this definitely could be full coverage. Now, I will say that was with a beauty blender. With a brush, I probably could have gotten full coverage, as you can tell. I'm in soft honey. I, like I said, in the drugstore, this shade was the last shade. Most of the time, I look at the last shade, which is kind of sad. Yes, I hope they have more shades. If I forget anything in this video, I'll definitely put it down in the description box. I'm going to let you know how many shades and the price of this. I definitely think that this is worth it. It does contain SPF 20, but I also put down in my moisturizer. I also put on a... I put on a physical sunscreen under my foundation just so I don't have to keep reapplying throughout the day. Let me know what foundation you want me to try out next. I just wanted to come with this one because number one, it was screaming my name. It said Beauty Healthy Elixir, which means that it has vitamins and all of that great stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite foundation from the drugstore is. I would love to know it. And if you have any recommendations of where you want me to hit up next for our Foundation Friday, definitely let me know as well. I'll put a poll over here just so you can check it out and check me out on Twitter. I put a lot of polls on there and you guys can interact with me and help me out as to what I should film next. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see beautiful you in the next review. Love you guys. Bye.